This was an idea that uh, Clive came up with originally just to sort of have a private dinner with, a, with, with the owners of the, of the cars. And I said, why don't we put on a big event for you and get all of the members to come along, anybody who's got a Jaguar, bring them along, put them on display. So we've got some nice couple of C-types, XKs, a um, few E-types. So there's a nice collection, really pleased. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love the references to these cars. And, you know, what a lot of people uh, respect, what I understand with Jaguar is I can look at these cars, I understand every form, every line, every detail on them. It's sort of, it's imprinted in my brain, you know, and not just because of my time at Jaguar, way back, way back to the Curie Cost days, funnily enough. Yeah. You know, way back to the days in Edinburgh when my grandfather tried to take me down to the Mews to see what we could find. <laughs> and we could never see anybody, but, uh, you know, the intention was there. So yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderfully, not just nostalgic, but very relevant to me. Long nosed uh, D-type. Now it's had a terrific her heritage, but if you think about it, what the 120 did, then what the C-type did, the D-type, and then finally the long nose D-type. It was just probably the most beautiful racing car that's ever been built. And of course it had tremendous success winning at Le Mans and so forth with even a Curia Cos, a private entry team. They had this recording equipment that I pulled 192, but your game proved it. Mike Hawthorne and his D-type was 187. So that was Taking that much off the screen proved the point that we were right in the, our assessment for every inch you could off your use one and a half mile an hour. Dun Dunlop Max said, look, the higher you go up the banking, the easier it is on the tyres. So Fairman said, oh, fair enough. So on the top of the banking, it was Armco. And Fairman went so close, he took the outside handle, the tie down strap and the, and the, first, and the first coating of, co of paint. So we, so we nicknamed him Fearless Jack. <laughs> yes, it, you, you felt the pressure of what you were driving and of course the red mist comes down and you forget what you're driving. That car was amazing to drive and once you get, you know what it's like when you get into the rhythm of a car. You know, first of all it scares you and then you get to know it and then you run with it. And my goodness, we drove hard in that car and it was fabulous. One of the best drives I've ever had, but the best drive I've ever had. Wonderful car. <laughs>